everyone, and welcome back to World Builder. Now, this is the second time I'm trying to record this audio since the first time I, you know, didn't have my mic properly plugged in. So, yeah, if I say things that sound awkward or anything like that, that that's probably why. But anyway, today we're doing some finishing touches on the village, and since the last time I have added in one more house. See if you can spot it. It's in this frame right here. Can you see it? Let me know if you can. But I don't know. <laughs> it's not really that important. But anyway, finishing touches for this episode. And that comes in the form of trees, foliage, and filling in missing spaces um, with stuff to really make the village seem like it's coming alive. So I decided to build willow trees for a lot of this because they look good in a swamp. So um, they're not that difficult to build, really, it's really quite easy. You just build your trunk shape, build your branches, cover every wood face in the branches with leaves, then build the leaves up a block, and then build the little things that hang down, and boom, there you go, willow tree. <laughs> really not too difficult. Uh, I used Google a bit to help me figure that out to get the design. I didn't copy anything directly um, at all, but I did look at some images of willow trees that other people have made and used those as inspiration for my own. Um, I also decided to mix in some birch leaves because the other leaves didn't look as good. And you know oak and dark oak leaves are the same? like. <laughs> I put them next to each other in the tree, they're the exact same. Which is just like, why even have two different leaves when you could just have oak leaves on the dark oak trees? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, other thing, adding in spruce stairs and fences to the trunk and roots. And adding in some bark blocks for the tree itself to get rid of that um, wood texture that isn't the bark texture. If that makes sense. Like the texture that's the top of the wall. Get rid of that. <laughs> we don't want that in our trees. Um, and another important part of finishing off the village is filling in all these empty spaces of grass with stuff to make it fit into the landscape like it's supposed to and not like how it was. So, another thing that can be added is bushes, especially to fill this space in behind this row of houses because there's no path or anything there so it's just kind of weird uh this is the weird a weird space to have so i put in some um bushes and stuff and a thing that i like to do with my cliffs is add leaves on the side of it um to make the cliff itself not as like looked at <laughs> um but I have to give a reason for leaves to be there, so I add bushes on the top of the hill. So, now that that's pretty much done, we can move on to filling in this space here. Now, I could have put a house here, but it would have um, been an awkwardly shaped house, and the house itself would probably have to go over the path in order to avoid being too small or anything like that. So, I decide to just stick a tree there instead, which is great, because it fills the space. Um, it doesn't take up much space on the ground, but it does provide a lot of coverage from the air, so the space itself doesn't look empty. So again, I use the same uh, tree building method for this tree that I did for the other trees. So, they look somewhat similar, but a key difference is the branches. If you build the trees the same way, using the method that I've mentioned, um, the branches have to be different, because otherwise your trees will look literally exactly the same. <laughs> so keep your branches varied from tree to tree. Uh, another benefit about doing trees is that I can stick leaves over the roofs of the houses um, just to make them look a bit more different um, like and to make it seem more natural and overgrown because like these people don't have time to take care of their houses because they're out fishing and 
doing stuff. So they have trees growing over and all that stuff. Um, that little space there where the paths diverged, I could have put a tree, but since I had that other one on top of the hill so close to it, I didn't really want to. Because um, I just, you know, I think it'd be too many trees, too, too small of an area. So I just stuck a bush there instead, which, you know, it works. I don't know what else I could put there, though, which is part of why I did that. And, of course, I had to um, do bushes and stuff next to the walls and fill in that grass space area as well. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm adding in a bush by the clock tower. Because that, you know, that needed a bush too. That space was a bit too empty. And now it is time to stick in another tree. In between this little group of houses. So, this tree is more of for the sake of, like, a filling space thing. Because, um, in theory, there'd be another house here. But, it's too small of a space to not have, like the walls of the house is touching on like three different sides which I didn't really want so I just took a tree there <laughs> and since there are windows on like all of these houses like they get a great view of the tree you know it's all that stuff it's great uh, it's really good at filling space and it fits in quite well uh, with the other environment and it just yeah, it just looks good <laughs> And I can do, again, the stuff going over the houses, the leaves, um, to, like, break it up a bit to make the houses that don't have a tree next to them seem like they don't have a tree next to them, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want the houses that have a tree next to them to not have leaves on them, and then, like, the houses that don't have a tree next to them to have leaves, because that just, that just wouldn't make any sense. So, Yeah. Um, also put leaves and more bushes on the coastline and all that stuff as well. So, more bushes going in, uh, really just to fill space. And as I mentioned when I built the statue, I was going to cover it in leaves um, to really like show how the owner or leader of the village is not caring about his citizens at all and letting their beautiful statue get tarnished by leaves and wear and not care about cleaning it at all. <laughs> so there, I was going to put a tree there, but it was too close to the houses, um, and like it was just kind of awkward and weird. And I've said awkward like four times in this video, so <laughs> gotta mix up my words a bit, you know? Can't, can't say the same word more than three times in a row, because otherwise people will think that you have a limited vocabulary, which I don't. <laughs> so, not going to say that anymore, but I will put this tree in here. I also want to remove those tr swamp trees that were in the ocean, which I could have done a while ago, but I didn't. Uh, so they are still there, or at least they were still there up until this point, and now I remove them to make room for my better trees to go in, filling in that, um, mixing in the birch, and then bringing the leaves over the roofs of these houses uh, to really uh, get the point across, you know? <laughs> trees, they exist. They give leaves to things. Whether the things want the leaves that they give or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> But the fact is, they exist. And now there are leaves over these houses. And a tree. That looks nice. Next to them. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, a lot of leaves. Gotta mix in all of the birch. Well, not all the birch, but mixing in birch really helps a lot uh, with making them not look too uniform. So it's important to do that as well. And that tree pretty much finishes it out. In terms of what needed to be done for the village itself, um, there are other things that I can do and that I do, like removing this little random island thing <laughs> that was in the water, just taking it out. And I could terraform this ocean like completely, but I didn't really want to do that. So with that, I'm going to leave this here. 
Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the content, feedback you have for me, and I'll see all of you later. Bye.